Hello everyone and welcome back to part number six of this tutorial. Uh, we're going to create some street patterns on the floor and if we go to this final render you can see there is uh, three types or maybe four types of uh, uh, street patterns. There's one over here and you can't really see the transitions between them. There are two different. Um, one over here so one two three four so we're getting started and we have the grass but we're not going to do that this in this part there's another part uh we're gonna close that one and we're gonna start with creating a plane and bring that right there and fit it till it hits the building and the garage and putting that down and scaling it a bit more and a bit more downwards all right i think i like this yes it's good so you have to take a look of course you have maybe your own variation i'm just going to copy this one so you know what to do um so we have a parking lane over there and then there is some cross transition so if we are here we have to crop this a bit like this and we extruding it and now we take these three vertices and go back and we see another lane over there so extruding it just a small one and it's like everything till there and only these two we don't need this one because we won't see it so like this and we select these and doing it again so there we go um and another one over here and i will explain why so uh we select everything extruding it like this um yeah i think this is almost finished uh let me see it so there's gonna be cross over there let me crop this a bit maybe make this a bit longer so yeah fine okay maybe this a little bit longer okay fine great we're gonna start texturing it and by doing that adding a new one image texture we open it and we go have a look well I really like this one so it's already prepared and tiled uh, we select the medium one this is a 4k image and medium is 2k so that uh, that's okay um, yeah and we select these all of them you project from view and only these yeah and we go split this view and go to the UV image editor and for this one we go to for the material so there we go and you can see everything is textured but only this part will change so we go get closer yeah make that a size so you think yeah that's doable not too small but also not that large i think this is this is quite pretty good yeah well maybe a bit bigger <laughs> all right so we go to the next one and that is the next lane over here and we creating a new one image texture and we want square size tiles and there we go same for that one this is a 4k 2k uh, and we should assign this one and then it appears don't look for it you have to assign it or else everything is messed up happens to me all the time so watch for it so there it is and we go to the next one I'll go too fast sorry <laughs> we have to keep speed in it so adding a new one go to the image and where is my favorite tile there it is street tile it's a red one it's very hard to to tile this one you can see it but if you make a render from the ground won't really see the problem 
So I make a mistake, I made a mistake, and project. So we have some extra space. Now we make it something like this, a bit smaller. That will do. Uh, we have to assign it again. So that one is also uh, applied. So we have three uh, corners left and we are creating a new one and making that nice green. <laughs> so we know in the future, future cross is going to be there, assign it. Assign. Beautiful cross, right? We can sell this to customers. Anyway, um, and another one is creating a road plane. And I want the road a bit lower than the uh, than the street line. So we take this view. No, wow, we can see it. Hmm, what should I do? Um, this looks good. So this is exactly, and I want it right there. And what we also can do is create some extra lines, something like this. Hmm. Yeah. G. No. Leave it. Well, never mind. I want it to be have a bit variation in the height. But uh, it's okay. And the next one is an important one to have a nice transition between the street and the road. Uh, and I'm showing you what I'm gonna do. I'm making a new cube, dragging that over there, making that smaller, a bit more. What we're gonna do is create these uh, road blocks or whatever you call it. I don't know what uh, we need them. So we have this cube. That's okay. Put it more downwards, a bit bigger. And we are uh, scaling this, like this size, and make this like so. And we're selecting the top ones, pressing O, G, make this smaller. This is just what I thought what will work. Something like this. And to make it look a bit smoother, we go closer and subdivision surface. Wow, that looks so good. Not. <laughs> Not very good. And one over there. One over there, and cool. We can scale that. Oh yeah, also one down there. Um, should work. If we put it there. So now we need a texture. So we apply it. So we have thousands of vertices. But yeah, <laughs> can't help it. I tried to bevel. So control B, but that won't work. Not good. New image open. And I have a good one for this. Uh, let, where are you? This one. Uh, UV. Oh no. Turn off that O. S, uh, Y. Um, I don't know if this works. This, I tell this a bit. I rotated it a bit, but that one does look disgusting. So we go top, project from view. What we can do, we're gonna try that smart UV projection. And we're gonna split it. It's something what will work, but it's you get something like this. They have all the same size. So we have to look, it takes some time, but in the end it will look good. <laughs> with that green stuff oh, horrible so this is the top one and if we scale it so we have to crop this we have to rotate it 
and then if we then we have the right size so it's a bit weird so I don't know what kind of that one is so, I don't know I think this one no always lost one that I touch also not that one what is that there we go so rotate it uh, like this and scaling it making it same size just a little bit like the same all right so uh, we have to we need to know oh now we have some strange oh it doesn't matter no it's not that one should be that one no no of course it's that one yes and rotate it mm. doesn't have a really nice effect so uh, and I think we rotate it it should be exactly the same so there we go and I think for oh the size no you also have one for the bottom but uh, yeah ignore that one rotate it scale it there we go we have the same size so we're selecting these and tada we have something that looks believable I hope so oops um, and we can use an array modifier to uh, double it so we close this view we don't need it anymore bye bye we save our work save it and maybe a bit smaller uh, array and there is too much space between these two. Whoa, 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 whoa. I use shift, right? Oh, that looks good. And we start here. Um, shift D, and I want some space over there. One more. Put it right there. Something like this should do. I'll explain later why I put this space over there that's for the water well so I'm doing it again shift D rotate it 90% to the right minus 90 is good or 0.90 90 yes so that's I can live with that shift D and selecting that one shift D and give me that and a couple more one two cool uh, dude go there because if we go to the material we will see that it's cross and then we need uh, these ones shift the oh no oh what we can do is we just make more of them so we can uh, I think there are two lanes one over here yes and then we have just one popping out of the street is there so much cross? Is that true? Hmm. I think I made a small mistake. So what can we do about it? T -t -t. All right. It's not a big deal. Uh, it's not a big problem. So we want some of it We're selecting it and go to the material and assign the green and 
sign the green. Looks okay. Uh, Shift D. And scale a bit up. All right. Well, we have a very small <laughs> walking leg, but it doesn't matter. Maybe we should make this one a bit smaller. That's what we're gonna do. That's what I like, yeah. And we assign the red stuff on it. That makes it look good. Go to the red one, assign it. Uh, selecting these two, go to the UP image editor. So that looks okay. Uh, that one's a bit smaller. All right, so good. Still so far, it's okay. Uh, we want the road. You project from view, new image, open, and uh, reflect road. Open. And we'll go to the UV image editor, duplicate it, UV. And we have that horrible viewport look. And we don't want it that big, too big. So this is the point we want to go place the camera. G, Z. Again, G, Z. So. Texture, material, shift up. Well, this is a super tall house. So we have to do some camera tricks. Oh, I like this viewport. We have some gigantic house. <laughs> so, uh, Something like this, or we need more to go more there, and we have to stretch the road. It doesn't look so super sized, so we need something there to fill, and we need to size the road a bit more. Uh, G, O, G. Uh, where is that one? There we go. So um, UV map it again and stretching it. So great. Okay. Um, so oh, maybe we have to. Yeah, later on we will. We do it now. Ignore you. Ignore you. Um, no, we can. All right, never mind. <laughs> it doesn't matter. So we can put a house later there or something else. So we go to the texture mode, uh, and I think we did good. So for this part is finished. In the next part, we're gonna create some grass. Um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So see you in the next tutorial. See ya.